If your blood wasn't in vessels right now, it would be sloshing around inside you like soup in a broken bowl. Gross, right? But for some animals, that's normal. Let's dive into the fascinating world of circulatory systems. Animals are composed of countless body cells, each hungry for oxygen and nutrients while eager to offload waste products. To achieve this, animals have a brilliant internal transport system known as the circulatory system. But not all circulatory systems are created equal. They're categorized into two main types, open circulatory systems and closed circulatory systems. Each serves specific groups of organisms and adapts to their unique biological needs. First up, the open circulatory system. Picture this. Imagine delivering groceries to a village where there are no roads, just an open field where you scatter supplies, hoping everyone gets what they need. That's essentially how an open circulatory system works. Found in smaller invertebrates like insects, mollusks, and crustaceans, this system uses a fluid called hemolymph, pumped by a heart into an open cavity called a hemocoal. The hemolymph surrounds organs, bathing cells directly. Can you answer this challenge? Pause the video here. Name three animals that rely on an open circulatory system. Drop your answers in the comments below. While this system is less energy demanding, it's not very efficient. With no blood vessels, the transport of substances relies mainly on diffusion and body movements. It's like using snail mail when you really need same-day delivery. Slow and steady, but it gets the job done. Next, the closed circulatory system. Now, imagine a modern highway system where cars, nutrients, and oxygen zip around efficiently, reaching every destination quickly. That's your closed circulatory system in action. This system is found in more complex organisms, including vertebrates like humans and some invertebrates like earthworms. The closed circulatory system confines blood to a continuous network of vessels, arteries, veins, and capillaries. Here's where it gets high-tech. The walls of capillaries are semi-permeable, allowing oxygen and nutrients to diffuse directly into tissues. High pressure ensures rapid delivery to even the most distant cells. Animals with closed systems, like mammals and birds, have high metabolic demands. Think of a cheetah sprinting or a hummingbird's rapid wing flaps. These systems are designed for peak performance. To recap, the type of circulatory system an animal has directly correlates with its size, activity level, and metabolic demands. An open circulatory system is found in smaller, less active animals. This type of circulatory system does not have complex blood vessels. The hemolymph is pumped by a heart into an open cavity where the organs are bathed directly in the fluid. A closed circulatory system is found in larger, more active animals. This type of circulatory system contains blood vessels where blood flows continuously.